Morning Cavalier. Today is November 4th, 2016. I'm Renitra Wilson. And I'm Chris Dove. Today we have sports, sports, and more sports. And we'll announce the winner of the Poetry Slam. So stay tuned because RNE TV Live starts now. Convergence Media and the Book Club are collecting socks for the homeless for Please drop off new, unused socks to the Media Center or Cavplex. Boxes are located outside of B207 and B208. For National French Week, here's a trivia question for the day. The question is, true or false? The Eiffel Tower, completed by Gustave Eiffel in 1889, is the tallest structure in Paris, the capital of France. The first person to answer the following question correctly to Ms. Corey in B203A will receive a homework, a world language homework pass. Baseball costume. On Thursday, October 27th, the Cavalier baseball team hit the mound for their final annual Halloween game. The team decked out in their Halloween costumes and played a scrimmage to celebrate Halloween. Uh, so tonight we had the, um, the Halloween game. And basically we just, we all come out, we play a good game of baseball with some costumes on, we just have some fun. Yep. Personally, it's all good. I had a good run. This is my first and last, and um, now it's time to move on to college. For the future generations, it's unfortunate because they never get to experience it. But um, I feel like for a good last run, it was, it was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. This was a great last game. Um, I had fun with all the seniors that are about to leave. Um, and I'm glad that since I've played this for my three years, this was one of my best ones. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Nothing's on three. Hard on three. Seniors, if you need an information packet for ordering graduation supplies, you can pick up one today in E109. Orders will be taken today in the science atrium during your assigned appointment times. Don't forget your $60 deposit. Appointment times were sent out in last week's Cavalier update. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Bodie in student activities. Juniors, if you would like to place an order for a class ring, you can order during lunch today in the science atrium. Don't forget your deposit. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Bodie in E109. Also, junior class shirts are still on sale until tomorrow. Pre-order your shirt with Mr. Ramos in the fees office. Shirts start at $12 each. Many sports are wrapping up their seasons. Now we go to Malcolm to take a look into the scores. Good morning, Cavaliers, and welcome to this edition of Sports 360. I'm Malcolm Tyson. On this edition, we'll cover the cross country team, the volleyball team, and more. Stay tuned because Sports 360 starts now. The boys and girls cross country teams ended their season at the 4A state qualifiers. Jasmine Washington finished in the top 20 and advanced to the state meet this weekend. It's really exciting and it's fun to run against the top people in the country, not the country, sorry, the state. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. Tuesday, the varsity volleyball team ended their postseason run in the second round of the playoffs against South Aiken. The Lady Cavs lost all three sets, 15 to 25, 11 to 25, and 7 to 25. We just didn't talk. The game came too fast. They started the game early, so we didn't have our usual fan crowd that we had. I say our hits were really good. We had some really good passes tonight. We had some great sets. I think um, we played exceptionally well. I think they just got in our head, and that's what messed up our game. Last Friday, the varsity football team won their first region game against the Westwood Redhawks, 23 to 15. Last night's game was a crucial game for the Cavs, as it would determine if they make the playoffs or not. I was there for the play-by-play. -play. Emotions were roaming around Harry Perron Stadium as the Cavalier football season came to an end against the Lakenster Bruins. The Bruins took a quick 14-0 lead to start the first half. Running back Taekwondre Davis extended his arms to put the orange and blue on the board for six. Taekwondre Davis will also score again in the third quarter on a one-yard run. In the fourth quarter, the Cavs were down 28-13 until wide receiver 
Jaquan Hill scored a 33-yard touchdown with two minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the game. The Cavs were able to gain a little momentum on the next offensive possession as quarterback Charles Simons threw a nine-yard touchdown to Jaquan Hill. Unfortunately, the Cavs were unable to convert on the two-point conversion, which would have tied the game. Well, the guys played their tails off. Um, you know, they left everything out there. That's all we could ask for. Before the game, you know, we told them no regrets, especially seniors. This could be their last, could be their last game, and if it was, we didn't want them to have any regrets. You know, 20, 30 years down the road, and I can promise you, none of them do. You know, they all left everything out there. We just came up a little short. Chips kind of fall where they, where they did, and it wasn't, it wasn't our night. The Cavs lost with a final score of 26 to 28, which gives them a 1 and 4 region record and 5 and 5 on the season. Varsity swimmer Kate Becker represented Arnie for the 4A state swim meet. Kate placed ninth in the 500 free time with a time of 5 minutes and 42 seconds, which was a personal best. Make sure you continue to support Northeast Sports. Reporting for Arnie TV Live, I'm Malcolm Tyson. Thanks, Malcolm. The Project Care Coalition will host a private screening of Generation Found for the Richland Tooth community. Parents, middle and high school students, and community members are invited on November 14th at 7 p.m. at the Sand Hill Stadium 16 and RPX. PCA will be performing Cinderella from today, November 4th, to Sunday, November 6th in the District Auditorium. Student tickets are only $5. Freshmen, if you're interested in visiting Landon University and Presbyterian College, please see Ms. Moody in room B209. Hurry because there are only 30 seats available. Start bringing in cans for hours. Three cans take away one hour of detention. Cans can be turned into Ms. Bodie in student activities room E109. If you've been to a football game this season, you've probably seen the paddle that the football team always carries around. Here's Sydney Tisdale with a look at the football paddle. Since 2014, Richmond Northeast football players have used the grind paddle to symbolize their efforts on and off the field. You know, this paddle is like a symbol to us that, you know, we put in work for this. Like, we really out here trying to achieve our goal. It gives us a little bit of motivation that we're a family, we're here together. It benefits us because we said it's creed on the back before in every game. And this year's creed represents the team as a whole. Good, no worry, grind. Everybody grinds, but we grind hard. Like it gets everybody tuned in, everybody focused, and it also reminds everybody like what we're really out here for. We out here for each other. Like we're brothers. Grind. It's something the football players here at RNE remind themselves of before each game. And then I feel like it's just that, it's that one piece that brings us together. Reporting from RNE TV Live, I'm Sydney. Thanks, Sydney. Finally, we have the results of the Poetry Slam. The past two days at lunch, students shared their original poetry. Drum roll, please. After a really, really close competition, our overall winner is Armani Wright. Tied for crowd favorite on Wednesday were Halima Adley and Chris Dove. Tied for crowd favorite on Thursday were Bobby Einick and Jalen Washington. Congratulations to our winners and to all our poets who came out performed. And thanks to our amazing crowd members who came out. Look for an open mic session in December and another competition in April. Well, that's all we have for you today for RNE TV Live. I'm Renita Wilson. And I'm Chris Dove. Have a safe and fun weekend.